Now to campaign 2016, and it appears that Jeb Bush is about ready to announce that he's running for president. The former Florida governor tweeted an announcement is coming June the 15th. The tweet links to a website called JebAnnouncement.com. The announcement is expected to take place at the Miami-Dade College Kendall campus in the Theodore, Theodore R. Gibson Health Center. Bush would enter a crowded primary that already includes nearly a dozen GOP candidates. And one of them, former Texas Governor Rick Perry, making it official for himself today, announcing that he's running for president. He told supporters he wants to project American strength and grow the economy. You'll remember his 2012 bid did not go as well as he had hoped, thanks to a series of gaffes that cost him his frontrunner status. And it appeared things got a little hot under the collar for him today. Perry and supporters were seen sweating at that rally at an airport hangar in Addison, Texas. And joining us now is the host of Facing South Florida, Jim DeFeedy. So Jeb Bush making this announcement. Mm -hmm. Rick Perry already announcing that he is running for president. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this field? It's a pretty big one. It's a big field. This is clearly not the field that Jeb Bush wanted to get into. When Jeb Bush started thinking about running for president, you know, he was hoping it would be a small field. He was hoping to play the Hillary Clinton role almost in this. You know, he went out and met with Mitt Romney, hoped to get him to the sidelines, but it just didn't work out that way. So in some ways, I think the large field, if he couldn't get, you know, like a four or five opponents, I think having a clown car of the this size of this magnitude, sorry, bad, bad for it. but the, this size of, of number of candidates, I think actually helps him because it makes him stand out a little bit more. A lot of Republicans are saying they like the field, they like the size of the field. There are a lot of very serious contenders, a lot of former governors who have announced their intentions as we take a look at Marco Rubio. And I'm hearing from a lot of pundits that we could very well see a GOP presidential candidate who is from right here in Florida. Well, right now, I think most people agree that the top three candidates in this race are Governor Scott Walker from Wisconsin, Jeb Bush, and Marco Rubio. So from that path alone, you've got sort of a two-thirds chance that the Republican nominee is going to be from South Florida. And look, there are uh, Jeb is considered the front runner, but I don't think in a, in a lot of ways other than just cash. You know, he's got great name recognition, but the name also hurts him. Marco Rubio is sort of seen as that fresh young face. Scott Walker is a darling on a lot of ways because of the way he's combated things in in Wisconsin with the unions and the rest of it but as you look through this field you're absolutely right a lot of big names I mean Rand Paul certainly has his following you know Ted Cruz has his following there are a lot of very good groups here that are going to be battling it out it's going to be a very active primary season and could come down to Florida in the primary battle real quickly Jeb Bush his strengths and his weaknesses his strength and his weakness are the same his name his strength in terms of his family connections allows him to raise massive amounts of money. I think when we sort of see the first reporting period, it's going to be an insanely high number that he's going to be able to raise. His negative? His name. Because he has the baggage of his brother and that feeling of another Bush. Do we really want dynasties in this, in this White House? So, you know, to that extent, I think he hopes for Hillary Clinton to be his opponent because that would help defuse that situation. Great insight, as always, from you, Jim. Thanks very much, Jim DeFeedy, the host of Facing South Florida. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya will have much more on Jeb Bush's announcement that's coming up on the CBS 4 News tonight at 6. And a reminder to stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of campaign 2016 on air and online at CBSMiami.com.